tears is coming out. Mm -hmm. So he tried to comfort me about three minutes. And I, I asked them to give me a bit time for myself because I don't know why, but I mean, I was getting myself ready, getting the ring, and Frizzy got to do what Frizzy got to do. <laughs> At the end of the day, we got the ring, you know, so that was something great we was looking for. Well, uh, we hear you began your, um, you started work on as a chef, and then you sort of now managed to combine that with boxing. How difficult was that to be able to do and finally making boxing the centerpiece and finally working towards it? Yeah, it was a bit, it was a bit challenge because um, I was a kitchen porter. Oh, wow. So true, yeah, so true kitchen porter. And uh, uh, the, the funny part of this uh, kitchen porter uh, story was that one of the chefs, well, uh, one day one of the chefs did not attend, you know. So the head chef called me and he said, hey, Frizzy, do you want to come and help us to prep all this kind of thing? I said, yeah, why not? And I, I love, I love being in kitchen since day one. Like, uh, I've got 10 sisters, so I know how they cook, <laughs> do things, you know. So yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay. So I went there, helping help him, him cut onion, prep, um, um, all kind of stuff he need, like potato, washing the potatoes and stuff like that. And he was like, wow, you're quite fast. And mm. you like, I like the way you're holding the knife. Do you want to, I mean, offer you a praise here? I said, why not? So... From there, kitchen porter jumped to chef. My God. And now I become a comedy chef and then true chef. And now, true chef, I have my own freezy snacks going on. And there is a lot of a few products coming out, like freezy jollof, Ghana jollof. Wow. That one will hide it for now. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Well, very impressive. Um, I would know that you would want to hide it, but hopefully, when it turns out big, we'll be here with it. But what is the next big thing? for Freezy McBones. What are you looking up to after one and two professional bouts? Um, honestly, I, I want to fight every month. Yes. That is what, that's my dream. That's what I want to do now. Because of um, the, my age, I start boxing. Right now, I'm 33. Um, it, it, I would say it was, it's a bit quite late. But because of my mindset, and how I'm so dedicated for this post and I'm so looking forward to be the best of myself and give all my time and everything for this post. So I, I need to be out quick and quick. So um, I'm still having a chat with my manager, uh, which is Francis Warren. He's a Frank Warren son. And okay. um, I hope for he's going to give me another chance to come out probably next month. I'm looking forward for that. So um, tomorrow... Uh, after my fight tomorrow, I'm going back to gym again. Mm. All right. In going back to the gym, there have been many questions uh, from many people who follow boxing, the boxing fanatic, saying that, yes, they know you have that PowerPoint and all that, but the, the basics and the skills um, seems not to be apparent. They fear that going into subsequent bouts, you may probably not have the victory you want. How are you working towards that? And are we going to see a change of trainers to make you better since you've just announced you under and um, that is a uh, frank wiring no i still keep my uh, my team around me i still keep my uh, coaches and all the people around me but the thing is one thing about um Darryl sharp is that he's a kind of tough guy right he's a journeyman he know more in the ring i think the guy for the guy fight every two weeks he got 113 professional fight this is my second bout you know, so if you go in to box, uh, boxing like a proper boxer, bro, you, you're gonna you're gonna make the shot. You're never gonna catch him. He know how to defense. He know how, to, how he know more in the ring than me. He know how to get away with um, with pressure and hair. So my idea is that I just go in straight to him and beat him like a thief. You know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it to finish yeah, him off. <laughs> so, yes, to attack him, I mean, like, um, pressure did, him. Yeah, you did in the first <laughs> bout that you won. Yeah, so, I, I, exactly. So, I think I was nearly knocking him out in the first round. And it was so funny. He said that at the end of the round, um, the fight, he said, oh, my God, um, you are one of the hardest punch I ever fought wow. upon all my uh, 113 fights. And I was like, all right, then why did you not go down? 
<laughs> it's, a, it's all part of the process. And the one thing about boxing is that every step, every opportunity, every match, every fight, you got something to learn from it and you move to the next one. Mm. So we're looking forward to bring something next, uh, uh, I mean, uh, something proper, something nice in my next fight. Well, okay. Hoping to get into your next fight. But uh, we know that you would want to do something great. Um, but how much of an inspiration do you think that your journey will be for the people back home? You just spoke about you having 10 sisters, the only boy in there. And last Saturday, I spoke to a couple of friends in uh, Efijasi Asokori, and everyone was willing and ready to watch that bout. What will be your word to the people there and to all Ghanaians um, looking at how your journey has uh, trajected? Well, I would say uh, my a little bit advice or motivation to people they are watching me, um, especially people they have, um, they don't have a lot of support in their background or around them. Listen, please, don't look down to yourself. You know, wherever you are, whatever you want to achieve in life, your dream is, is possible. You can do it. Mm. You know, all you got to do is be true to yourself and work hard toward to your dreams. Don't back down. Don't look down to anyone. Just stay focused to yourself and keep yourself to yourself. You can achieve everything. It's possible. It doesn't matter how old you are, um, where you grow up, the background you're coming from now. It's possible. You can do it. If Freezy can do it, someone coming from nothing, come from village, there is 10 houses, and the water we would drink was a problem. You know, grow up in the darkness, and I travel five miles to school every day from Bima to Ascore in my village. And now I'm here fighting the BT Sports, one of the top um, promoters in the world in boxing. No, that's why I gave a speech like, there is a God, because mm. I never give up. I've been training, working so hard to went to my dreams. And now uh, I think I'm nearly there. I love that. Now, at the end of the match, your interview was actually very, very emotional. It was very charged. Um, anyone who, who, who saw it, including myself, felt very emotional about it. But what really triggered the emotions? Um, after the end of it, I would, would assume that you'd be more victorious, uh, but you're actually very emotional. What triggered that for you? I think um, there was a lot going on in my memory mm. because, like I said to you, the moment I entered the arena, I saw a lot of cameras, I saw a lot of people, the, I mean, the news people, the interview, and yeah. all this TV channel, and I'm like, wow, how life changed like that. That's, that, mm. that's incredible. And also... Uh, like I said, I know where I'm coming from, the background, my family, the people are bringing, and things I've been through in this mm. country, especially London, you know. Mm. There was a time I don't have a place to call home. Now wow. people pay and come and watch me, and I'm like, wow. And I can't handle it. And the, the deep side is that I think two years ago, um, my dad called me. He said, um, I, I need some help for surgery. And I was like, okay, dad, I... I I'm in, in a difficult situation, but I will see what I can do. So I call my friend. He said, listen, come and work in my uh, garden. Mm. I will help you with some money. Mm. I was there. I, I, yeah, he gave me the job. He gave me the money. I sent the money to my sister to give it to the doctor. The doctor got the money, but I lost my dad in that moment. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. So um, there is a whole lot I don't want to talk about it because anytime I talk, it's like it brings a memory yeah. back. And yeah. I, haven't seen, uh, I haven't seen my dad like, I think eight years or uh, yeah, eight years before he passed away. And um, mm -hmm. I did not get a time to uh, show him or, uh, I mean, um, show him how much I love him, mm -hmm. you know. And at the same time, I haven't seen my mom for 10 years. Wow. You know, there, there is so many things if I tell you, like, you'll be shocked. And um, I think a lot of people don't know more about Freezy. They just know that he's a guy, he's a hungry boxer. No, but there is something pushing me, mm. motivate me mm. to get where I want to be. You know what I'm saying? So there was a whole lot, but it was something, I don't even know what I said. Mm. I just came back and I see a lot of people repost what I said. I was yeah. like, what did I say? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know, and if I tell you there's a lot going on, if I tell you um, the rest of it, you will feel like, no, this guy is different, yeah. you know. But I, I think everyone who is doing something great 
or who is want to achieve uh, his dream, there is something behind him pushing him. I believe that. And sometimes I ask myself, why God want to use me, for example, you know, but I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> It is what it is. But honestly, you truly are different. But to recap, for those that uh, may not have caught that uh, end of match interview, um, take a look at this. Toward my dreams. And I never give up. I never let anyone let me down. I put myself to the limit. I don't sleep. I'm running 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Like a madman, people see me like, what's this guy doing? And now this is the answer for those people that was asking me those questions. You know, yeah. and I'm so proud of myself. And uh, my mom, my family back home, they're all watching me. And I, I make them proud because I come from nothing. The place there was no light, there was no water, nothing there. And I see myself in a, one of the big promotion in the way, Queensbury. Come on, bro, there is a God. So whatever results happen there, I don't care. I don't care. I see myself like a winner, no matter what. <laughs> Outstanding, outstanding, outstanding. Like, honestly, uh, Freezy, uh, you, you've truly done it all. You've truly done it all. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I, it, it wasn't easy. That's why um, I got the uh, aim easy being Freezy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't easy being freezy. <laughs> it ain't easy being freezy. Exactly. It's not easy being freezy, you know. But because um I believe that I know everyone got a story. Mm. Everybody got a story in life, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes if you don't hear or listen to someone's story, you think your one is the worst one. You know what I'm saying? But and also it's really good that um we will we will have all these people to come out with their story and mm. it, it will motivate us, push us up, you know, not to feel so comfortable to where we are, we are you know, but everyone want to achieve something great. So when we hear your story, be like, wow, and then I can do it, I can do it. I mean, it's, it's so crazy, like a lot um, a kind of feedback message I'm getting from people, especially big shout out to Sarko there. He, um, he repost my uh, video in Twitter and um, he followed me back on Instagram. He said, yo, bro, and I had a picture with him for a long time and I sent him wow. the picture and he was laughing. He was like, oh, yeah, when I come to Lend, we're going to link up. It's not only him, D-Brack, a lot of, I mean, the celebrities in, in, in back home and I appreciate all the support and everything and my own people, um, Ghanaians, are doing to support me. I mean, this is what we need and this is what we need to support each other to push each other to the limit. And remember, this is just the beginning. This is my second fight, yeah. you know. So yeah. um, I'm I'm praying to God that the kind of hungry I have right now, I will not lost it, but I will keep it going, yeah. going to achieve, and I will never left my country behind. Anytime I, 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 I fight, you see me. I put my Ghana flag on my short side and UK on the short side, and always Ghana in me. You know what I'm saying? So I keep going. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Crazy, and we know that. You've been an inspiration to many and even for our boxers who've uh, had recent losses, Isaac Dobe, Richard Comey and the likes. Definitely, this would be so much inspiration for them uh, to keep going. At least hopefully in the next couple of years, uh, we'll get an, another world boxing title or uh, medal for the nation. Thank you so much. We'll be catching up with you on subsequent uh, bouts and uh, also okay. that, yeah. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Enjoy Spend your day. Send my love to you all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>